Hello all again. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about nitrates in the aquarium and filter media, in particular uh, Biohome filter media. Uh, I use Biohome Ultimate filter media in the sump, as regular viewers will know. Um, let's take a quick look at that. I've got my sump down here, um, and in these two chambers, I think I've got is it five kilos of Biohome. Maxi Ultimate, um, that's my biological filtration in the sump. So there is more filter media in there, but that's the stuff that I want to talk about today because as the regular viewers will know, I have been um, testing that for the past four or five months. And well, as they say on TV, the results are in. If you've been watching for a while, you'll know that I've been testing biohome media for the last four or five months. Um, it's got to the stage now where I think I've got enough information to make a decision, but I want to qualify this by saying I've not been paid by the manufacturer or sponsored or any of that nonsense. At the same time, these are not laboratory conditions that I've been doing this testing under try to keep everything as stable as possible so the, the stocking in the aquarium hasn't changed the density of the plants hasn't really changed yes some of them have grown but I've taken some out at the same time try to keep everything as stable as possible do the same amount of water changes at the same time test at the same time every week uh, and this is my conclusions so the reason I want to call a halt to this um, I could let this go for a little bit longer just to really dial it in and make sure that I know what I'm talking about. But my plants are starting to suffer, so you can tell by saying that probably that I'm going to be quite happy about the way the biohome's acting because uh, its main draw is that as well as being a very good biological uh, filter material, filter media, it is constructed in such a way that it's so porous that it gives... Um, a great opportunity for the the denitrifying bacteria to be able to grow uh, and it makes claims that over time it will reduce the nitrates in your aquarium so uh, if you have a look at this picture over here that we're essentially talking about this third stage of the aquarium cycle that you may have heard people talking about if you've not if you're new to aquariums you may have heard about the cycle where it's effectively a source of ammonia gets turned, so that could be fish pee, fish poo, whatever it might be, gets turned into nitrites, which then gets turned into nitrates. Traditionally, you will then take them out of the water by doing water changes. Or if you have a heavily stocked, in terms of plants, heavily stocked planted tank, the plants will eat up the nitrates. So biohome is another method of being able to deal with these nitrates. Um, so about four or five months ago, something like that, I got my Biohome Maxi Ultimate, I think it is. I put it in the sump in the aquarium that you've just seen. And have been religiously water changing the same amount each week and testing the nitrates each week. Uh, so let's have a look at this graph uh, where you can see what we're doing. Um, and you can see that I've started in there up about 40 parts per million for nitrates. Um, it's reasonably steady for the first few weeks that takes a bit of a dip and then climbs slowly back up. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Um, I, just, I, mean, I, I don't know what that is. But it levels off again. Kind of 30 parts per million for a good number of weeks. Six, seven, eight weeks there. And then starts to drop off there. And I think that's reasonably conclusive um, that we're heading in the right direction. And it's enough for me anyway to give two thumbs up for the denitrifying element um, but the reason that I don't want to carry this on any longer is that my plants are starting to suffer so the plants need a, a source of nitrates whether that be the nitrate that's produced by the end of the cycle or you add some fertilizers which tend to contain nitrates as well as some other um, minerals so this other image here is kind of my go-to image of um, how to tell what's wrong with your plants and the ones that are the problems that I'm seeing in my tank are due to uh, 
a lower nitrate. So I want to start dosing some fertilizers to give the plants a bit of a, a kick anyway. Um, but that would totally throw off the, the testing for any further biohome testing. So I'm convinced that it's doing what it did say on the tin. Um, it, it, there's just no question in my mind. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments if you think there's something else going on. But it looks to me like that is exactly what's happening. Um, again, I've not been paid for this by the manufacturer. Although if there are any other manufacturers out there that do want to pay me for things or send me free stuff, I'm more than happy to accept it. Uh, but in this case, no, this was not a sponsored video or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to share it as, as independent as I could again. It's not a laboratory condition, it's not a scientific experiment. But I think it's a fairly good test of what's been going on. Um, but why not try it out for yourself? I mean, um, if you've got any queries, by all means, let me know. But this stuff is actually produced in partnership with the Pond Guru on YouTube, who you may have seen and you know, heard of his channel. I'll leave a link to the channel below. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. He's more than happy to answer questions. I've met him once or twice and spoken to him a couple of times on the phone. He's always been really keen to take the time to talk through what his uh, point is trying to make and explain things very well. His videos are really informative on all kinds of subjects, so go and check that out. Uh, or let me know below. Um, this video, this picture here, by the way, of the plants, it's not mine. The first one was, that's one I used for my kids' primary schools, just to teach them a little bit. Put a fish tank in there for them, and I've got some posters up there for some information for them. Uh, but the planted one, I just found that off the internet. It's just what I use as my kind of go-to for diagnosing what's going on with the plants. But in terms of bio home, I think that's it. Experiment finished. I'm very happy with it. And now I can move on to do some more things with my tank and start playing about a little bit. But as ever, if this is your first time here, click that subscribe link. There's lots of different types of videos, mostly about fish stuff, uh, on this channel. Um, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, leave me a comment, any of that jazz. And I'll catch you again next time. Catch you again next time? That doesn't make sense. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. So if you've been around, <coughs> so let's go on.